morning and happy 13th of October. It is Friday the 13th today, which some people may think of as unlucky, but I think of it as a very lucky day um, because my mum was born on Friday the 13th and she always said it was lucky. However, I've woken up with a quite a raspy, sore throat. Um, I feel okay, I'm a bit under the weather, but I think it's just, this week has been manic at work. And um, so yeah, anyway, I have just returned from getting some bread up at the baker's and a prescription. And I was up there and I wore my rain jacket because obviously it's rainy and windy and horrible today. And um, I was standing in the queue at the chemist and I've got like mud all down myself. I wore it to the allotment and um, when I was picking some pumpkins and things like that and I held them back and then didn't wipe my jacket off so what am I like honestly worse than a kid sometimes but I don't care and I have no makeup on today and I haven't really bothered with my hair but you know this is what real life is like I'm just popping my Alison cardigan back on because it is a cardi day today um, so yeah, Fridays I normally see my dad, but as I said, I've got a bit of a kind of raspy throat, <coughs> excuse me, and so I have decided to spare him any potential lurgy. I think it is just tiredness from having a really manic week. Um, so I'm going to stay home today, I'm going to do some chores, do a bit of knitting, a bit of reading, and anything else that might take my fancy, but it's going to be a home-based day. So I will take you along with me. I hope you're all having a really lovely day wherever you are and I will catch up with you a little bit later. Having a well-deserved cup of tea. Uh, it's been a while since my coffee break. Um, I've got loads of jobs done actually. I've been quite busy but not a lot to show for my effort. So I've done little jobs like um, cleaning out the water field jug, wiping down the fridge, um, going around the taps with a toothbrush, all those little jobs that don't get done so often. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to show for my efforts, but I did get the floor disinfected today and um, I really wanted to do that. I don't do it very often uh, because I have a house rabbit. I tend to use water and vinegar when I mop out my floors, um, but every now and then I do like to use disinfectant um, to get rid of any nasty little germs. Harvey, nibbling my trouser leg again. Um, and I have to be really careful because obviously having a house rabbit they're really sensitive to chemicals uh, which is why rabbits are used for testing unfortunately because they do react quite severely um, to certain products and it can even be things like scented candles or um, air freshener or anything like that even you know if you put a bit of bleach around the sink that can um, really affect them so you have to be really careful so because rabbits are crepuscular and they're more active at dawn and dusk he has a good old snooze in the afternoon and so I picked that time to disinfect out my kitchen dining room floor and so I just shut him in the lounge opened the back door so it dried really quickly and waited for it to dry completely before I let him back in again to be honest he knew nothing about it he was still snoring uh, when the floor was dry <laughs> um, so yeah, and obviously they're like cats, they groom themselves continuously, so if there was any chemical on the floor and his feet got wet, he would then 
probably ingested, so I have to be really careful. But I've disinfected the floors. That was a long old ramble just to say that I clean my floor, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, I've got some washing on the line. It was really raining this morning, and it's quite blowy out there. Um, but then it kind of brightened up, so I've put some washing on the line because the app said we had about a three, four hour window. So I've put washing on the line because our heating isn't on yet and I don't have a tumble dryer, so it's difficult for me to get things dry properly at uh, this time of year. So if I can hang it out on the line, I will. But I am keeping an eye on the weather. So I'm gonna do some ironing and I'm gonna watch a few Vlogtobers, I think. Um, I'm gonna catch up with Ali from This Little Wonderful Life. Um, I'm gonna catch up with Gaynor from Tales from Cuckoo Land. And I'm gonna catch up with Sarah from Yarn Mugs. So those are the three I really want to catch up with today. And then after that, I feel like a new cast on. I'm gonna treat myself to a new cast on. Um, and I think I'm gonna sit down for a bit. So I'm actually feeling okay. I've still got a kind of really scratchy throat um, and I'm a bit tired. So I thought I'm just gonna, you know, relax a bit. And I have wanted to cast this yarn on for ever since I got it basically. So I spun this up last month and I absolutely love these colors. It's gonna come in, but it's probably going to blow out massively. Um, yeah, it's more kind of dark, it's more this sort of colour. And I'm thinking a cow would be really nice. Now, this came out as an Aran weight, and I've got about 145 metres. And so I'm thinking maybe a cow or maybe some hand warmers, I'm not sure. Might have a look on Ravelry later. Um, but I really fancy a cow. But I'm worried I'm going to run out of yarn. But if I run out of yarn, I run out of yarn and I just rip it back. It doesn't bother me too much to rip things back. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with a cow. I was thinking of putting another color with it, but I just want to keep it as it is. I just want it that color. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna ball that up as well and maybe cast that one a bit later on. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get on with that. I'll touch base with you a bit later. It's a Saturday and uh, yeah, I've had quite a slow morning but it's been really nice. Um, I have cleaned out Harvey and I also had to wipe down the windows in the kitchen diner because um, there was some condensation on them and I think it's because last night I went to Tesco's and the weather was horrific. It was absolutely throwing it down with the rain and um, so I got soaking wet and I hung my jacket in here overnight and I think obviously the water and the warmth kind of, yeah, obviously, uh, caused the water to evaporate and then we got condensation. A science lesson for you there. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I wiped down windows, done a bit of washing up and um, just having a cup of tea and some breakfast. Um, but I thought I would hop on and show you how I'm getting on with my new cast on. So this yarn, I spun up a month ago, that's when I showed you yesterday, so I handballed it up. I really like handballing up hand spun. I think it's because I can really look at the colours, I kind of appreciate it more because I've kind of made the uh, the yarn. So yeah, so, and I started a cow and I'm using a six millimetre needle, so it's quite an open gauge because I want it to drape and white face woodland, it's it's come out quite stiff, so I wanted to give it that extra drape, but I'm just doing like a broken rib. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I quite like the rustic look of it. I think it's gonna look really nice. And I've got loads left. I don't know why I was worried about not having enough yarn. I'm gonna have loads. So I'm gonna make it quite full and I might actually double fold it. And I might increase it so that it maybe comes over my shoulders a little bit more. I haven't decided yet. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along, but I really like the colours that are coming out. So um, 
So yeah, so doing a bit of that, I might actually do a few rows before I um, really get on with the day. So yeah, so today, um, just pottering really, I've got to sort out my room of requirement because we have a visitor arriving midweek next week, um, and you might recognise that person, so um, yeah, so I've got to get that sorted out, and yeah, just kind of having a chilled out day. My throat's feeling better today, it's still a little bit grating, but it is feeling better, so I think it was just tiredness, um, which is why I was feeling a little bit under the weather yesterday. Um, so yeah, so not ill or anything. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you a bit later on in the day. here in my room of requirement. Um, I've had quite a busy morning and a busy afternoon actually because it is now about four o'clock and I've been kind of putting some washing on, watering the house plants, cleaning the bathroom, washing the bathroom floor, washing the stairs um, because we have wood stairs as well. Um, so I've been pretty busy and I've come up here to my room of requirement because I want to get it ready for our visitor who is arriving midweek. Um, and this is where I keep all my yarn so I need to put away my Will is the Answer yarn and the lovely skeins from Lorraine, uh, from Peyton and Daughter. I need to put them away and I need to store them quite carefully. I had a moth infestation a few years ago now and it wasn't dramatic and I caught it fairly early but I did lose a few skeins so um, I like to kind of tuck it all away in their nice little bags um, <laughs> so that the moths can't get in. Um, but I have got distracted. Um, Leon has gone out, he has gone to get a few fish uh, for the fish tank, so someone did ask me actually if that was a fish tank they spied uh, behind me in one of the videos. Yes, we've got tropical fish and Leon looks after them, so they are his responsibility, I look after the bunny, he looks after the fish, that's kind of how it works. So I've come up here and I've got distracted and I've picked up the John Arburn Annual Issue 3. And there are some really gorgeous things that I want to make in here. Um, one of them is the Withy Hat, which is by Sonia, who now co-owns uh, John Arburn, I think. But look at that hat. Absolutely lovely. Love that hat. Love the colour. Um, and also the coom wrap as well, which is stunning. Um, there's the coom wrap absolutely gorgeous and there's a blanket version as well um, but really love them and there's puzzles and stories and a recipe and if you haven't got your hands on this yet I do recommend it so I've got a bit distracted with that but you know Leon's out who's gonna know <laughs> so for the rest of the day I'm gonna continue to sort a few bits out and then I'm gonna sit down with a glass of wine and my knitting that's the plan for the rest of the day. Um, the other thing I didn't point out earlier, for those of you who have probably spied it already, this is another ranunculus that I made some time ago. Let me just scoop up. Um, so yeah, so this ranunculus I made some time ago and it's made out of my own hand dyed yarn. So I used to dye yarn and I still do occasionally. Um, but not really anymore. Um, I don't have a great deal of time to do it um, because I obviously, as you know, I have another job and um, yeah, I it got to a point with dyeing yarn where I wasn't getting any free time because I was, I was either dyeing yarn or I was working, so I had to find a balance. So sometimes I still dabble in a bit of dyeing, um, but I haven't done for some time. Anyway, digressing again. I did also actually, have another question um, and that was about the music on these videos. Someone asked if I was playing the piano. I don't play the piano. <laughs> um, I do play other instruments. Um, we're a very musical family um, so we all play instruments and we all play together too um, but 
Yeah, I don't play the piano. Uh, the music is by, I think it's Johnny Eastwood. There's a website called Upbeat with two Ps um, and you can download free music. Um, so it's not licensed, so you can just use it on videos and things like that. And I really liked his pieces, so um, those are the ones that I chose to go on my videos. Um, if you do have any more questions, please feel free to ask me. I'm, I'm really rubbish at answering comments at the moment and I feel, I love reading all your comments but I actually find it quite overwhelming that I haven't answered any. Um, so what I've decided to do is if there are any other questions, please ask away and I will try and answer as many of them as I can during these vlogs. I think that's probably the best way to go but please know that I enjoy reading every single one of your comments and um, it's really lovely of you to take the time to like my videos and also to yeah to talk to me. Um, so I think that's the way I'm probably going to do it. For the rest of the day I am going to carry on pottering and then I'm going to pour myself a nice glass of white wine and do some more knitting on my cow. Um, so yeah. So I think I'm going to sign off the talky bit here um, and there'll probably be a little bit of footage after this and I will see you in the next vlog.